Well, it turns out that a very prominent investor of Disney has actually come out and kind of trashed the former CEO of Disney and said some things that don't paint a very good light about the former CEO, Bob Chapek, or as I call him, Bob Paycheck, the uh, guy who used to run SJW Woke Disney and who essentially doubled down further on all the woke SJW liberal propaganda that Disney pushes in their so-called kids' films and in the theme parks, too. But it says here on Inside the Magic, uh, famous investor says former Disney CEO Bob Chapek was ever incompetent and ever woke. Yeah, this is one of their former uh, prominent investors. Or sorry, this is one of their investors saying about the former CEO. I do apologize, I'm a little mixed up there. But it says here on Inside the Magic, even though it has been weeks since the former Walt Disney Company CEO Bob Chapek was fired, stock market investors are still criticizing him and the decisions he made during his time as leader of the entertainment giant. And they got the funny little image there of, of essentially his, uh, essentially his mentality when he, was, when he was running Disney. And calling it entertainment giant is uh, may may soon no longer be accurate since they're uh, losing to Universal Studios. But continuing on the article on Inside the Magic, it says many high pro many high profile shareholders of the Walt Disney Company have grown frustrated over the past year with Bob Chapek's management over the, of the company. Eventually, the temperature reached a maximum boiling point, leading to a, a revolt against Chapek and forcing Disney's board of directors to remove him and replace him with his predecessor Bob Iger. Uh, throughout Chapek's short tenure as CEO of Disney, politics and controversial decisions helped him make a divisive figure on both the right and left outside outside of the company. In addition to his dislike it externally, it also has been reported for months that cast members throughout many of the creative departments of Disney have grown impatient with his cost-cutting uh, cost cutting measures and have kept their hands tied in letting them operate in the manner that they are accustomed to. During an interview on the, this morning on Fox Business on the Fox Business Show, Bernie and Co. Investor Jeff Sika described the former CEO Bob Chapek, uh, Bob Chapek as a quote ever incompetent unquote and quote unquote ever woke leader after Chapek uh, piloted the company through months of historical losses. And he's perfectly right on that. He certainly is ever woke because he was the one that, that bowed down to the uh, SJW liberal mob and uh, came out and opposed this Florida law protecting children from, uh, from a sexualization indoctrination. But continuing on, the article says, in that same interview, Mr. Sika said he was happy that Disney decided to get rid of the ever incompetent Bob Chapek and bring back Bob Iger, who was, much, who was a much better CEO, unquote. Well, I would probably disagree with that, but continuing on. He also said that, a new, that, that the uh, new leadership could also tra uh, translate into recent financial wins. Mr. Sika believes that I Iger was, is the right man for the job. He explained further that Iger realizes that Disney needs to make, needs to make take that iconic brand and do what they've always done and I expect a turnaround. Again, I probably would just disagree with that since Iger was the one who was always pushing this uh, woke liberal ideology before Chapek started doing it. Uh, it says, while Sika had mentioned that Iger was not completely in line with right-wing conservatives, Sika admitted that Iger was better than Chapek. As investors start to analyze to the new operating reality for Disney in an uncertain economic environment, it will certainly be interesting to see if the same level of criticism that Bob Chapek received will be put on Bob Iger. Bob Iger must address many issues in the near uh, term to make shareholders of Disney happy. Well, he's already getting lots of criticism because, like I said, he was the one that was actually pushing a lot of this stuff before Chapek even came on the scene. But that's the truth of the matter, is even their own uh, financiers and investors are coming out and trashing Chapek and saying he was ever woke and ever incompetent. Which is perfectly accurate. Again, he was the one that came out and said they're going to actively oppose this Florida law protecting children from uh, this woke SJW sexualization. Uh, basically force on them in schools plain and simple uh, but that's the tr and of course like I said Iger's not going to be much better but you know that's the truth of the matter is that when you go woke you go broke and even when you go woke you're going to have some of your in this case you have some of your own investors criticizing you wanted to point that out may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren goodbye